Al Harrington in for Jalen Rose. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by. Um, yep. Of late, you've been somewhat of a, a champion for cannabis and the mm -hmm. use of medical marijuana. And you actually have talked to David Stern and you've suggested that this be off the banned list. Why do you feel so strongly about this? Because, uh, you know, I just look at it, you know, how it's actually helped me personally. You know what I'm saying? People around me, my grandmother, um, you know, she uh, suffered from glaucoma and diabetes. Uh, all kind of eye pressure pain all the time. I introduced her to cannabis and it completely changed her life. You know what I'm saying? It upgraded really? the quality of life for her. Um, even myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of the guys that had 14 surgeries in my career. Wow. Uh, for seven and a half years, I was uh, on anti-inflammatories every day just to be able to cope with pain and, and, and inflammation and stuff like that. And then I found cannabis. And, you know, and I feel like it's something that's all natural. It's something that, um, you know, when you think of all the pharmaceutical drugs and the clinical risks and stuff like that, you know, opioid epidemic and stuff like that, with cannabis, I feel like you don't have any of that. So, you know, I just feel like that the NBA or all sports leagues should give players an option, an alternative way to medicate themselves to a lot of the issues that they deal with. So when you say you introduced your grandmother to it, you didn't like pass her a bong. No. You know what I mean? So like yeah. ex explain to our audience and to me right. what you mean by that when you're with and how it helped you. Right, well, so I'll just use my grandmother first, you know. She had come to see me while I was playing for the Denver Nuggets, so the medical program had just got going there. So, you mm -hmm. know, I was one of those guys that always read the paper after every win or loss or whatever just to see what the media Everybody had Everybody does that, by the way. And what George every had Every single say, player does that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so every day was articles about marijuana in it, you know what I'm saying, and all the benefits and just all the regulations, everything that was going on with it. And when she came to see me, I was like, Grandma, well, you know they have medical marijuana here that helps with glaucoma. And she's like, well, you better get out of here. I ain't smoking no reefer. And yeah, I'm of like, course. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't smoking no reefer. This out there. So I was like, all right, Grandma. Like, she was really totally against it. So the next day I came home, I had a game that day. She was sitting in the same spot in my kitchen. I said, Grandma, you sure you don't want to just give it a try? I'm like, you have all this medication here, and you're still sitting here in pain. Just give it a try. So we talked for about an hour, and she said, you know what? I'm in so much pain, I'll try anything today. So I had my boy go and get us some Vietnam cushions, what it was called. We vaporized it for her, actually. Took her in the garage. She hit it like two or three times. But what was funny about that was that, you know, most times when people hit, you know, vapor stuff like that, they cough. She's like, mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, grandma, <laughs> grandma. Like, you sure? <laughs> you ain't tried this yet? But uh, I took her downstairs. I had a, I took my nap. I woke up like, you know, an hour and a half later, knocked on the door. And her back was to the door, and she was looking down. So I said, Grandma, are you okay? And she turned around. She had tears in her eyes, man. And she was just like, I'm healed. She said, I haven't been able to see the words of my Bible in over three years. And like, I started crying too, like just seeing her cry wow. or whatever. And like, at that point, I realized that it was bigger than just people just getting high, that this was actually medicine. You know what I'm saying? And then I had my issues. I had staph infection in my knee. Um, I had to have uh, six surgeries to clean it all out. Wow. And you know, obviously I'm on pain meds, I'm on anti, I'm on everything. And I had this lady come up and then she introduced me to the creams and to the tinctures or whatever, just mm -hmm. straight CBD where you don't have to smoke anything. And, uh, and those I, are non-psychotropic, right? And those non -psychotropic are just, yeah, yeah. And uh, cannabinoids, you know, uh, you know, they have an anti-inflammatory effect in the body and stuff like that with the receptors and stuff like that. And I have not used an anti-inflammatory. I've not used Advil or anything since I've been medicating myself purely through cannabis. And I played in the big three this summer. I've been able to compete at a high level still and just everyday life is just great. When you say compete at a high level, do you mean compete high? No, at a high level. Got you. Correct. So you spoke with David Stern. <laughs> right. And let's let's take a look at a clip because we talked about this on the show. I bought something for you. Oh, okay. I actually bought some creams for I'm you to actually I'm try. I'm not going to get arrested on my no, way out. You I promise you, you won't. You All right, you promise. Put it in a bag that's, you know. Okay, <laughs> it sort of looks like a bagel. Yeah, it looks perfect. Okay, that's good. You'll never that's know. good. All right, I'll, right, I'll take it. You got a bagel bag for me? You bring a bagel bag for me? Of course. You, you got a bagel bag for everybody? We in Cali. That's easy. <laughs> so do you think David Stern used the bagel bag? Uh, Did he I, walk out with it? He definitely walked out with it. He walked out he with it? He definitely walked out okay, with okay, it. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Who knows where, who knows? He he's not, retired, though. Right, right. He's got a lot of free time. He may have left it in who the Uber. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, know. who knows? Maybe he didn't even use it in the Uber. Maybe it was like a week later. He was like, huh, what should I do today? Where's that bagel bag that Al Harrington gave me? That'd be really helpful right now. I need to ask him, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually going to meet with him in two weeks. Me and him are going to go to lunch, so I'll find out and I'll let you know next but time. But he, here's, here's how you know if he used it. Did he call the meeting or did you? Because if he called the meeting, that means you're his plug. I called the okay, meeting. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs>